Around four years ago, I was living with a lot of stuff. For the majority of my life, I was influenced by my parents' habits. My mum loved to keep things around the house for those just-in-case occasions and found it really hard to get rid of anything. And I had developed this habit as well. I loved going shopping with my friends and never really got rid of anything, you know, for those just-in-case moments. But of course, this resulted in my room becoming so cluttered and messy. My cupboard doors wouldn't even shut. I could never find clothes that I wanted, books were all over the place, dust collecting everywhere. It was just a total mess. And every time I walked in, it stressed me out. It wasn't a relaxed and peaceful space like my bedroom should be. The first thing I saw when I woke up each morning was mess. And other aspects of my life were struggling as well. Financially, I didn't have any savings and what I did have, I would spend on unnecessary things. And what was even worse, was that I always found myself jealous of people that had more than me. I always wanted the latest iPhone because then if I had that, I'd be happy. But only for a year because then I'd want the newer one. I was stuck in a habit of longing, buying, finding somewhere to put it, working more to pay it off, and then back to longing. But one day I had this epiphany. Literally all the clothes on my body right now will eventually end up in landfill. Every single thing I own will be in a dump somewhere in however many years. Everything I buy is disposable. So if I don't really need it or it doesn't add value to my life, I'm just purchasing really expensive rubbish. And this is when I found minimalism. Minimalism is only owning the things that add true value to your life. No excess, just the necessities for you. And this can be applied to all aspects of your life, not just material possessions. But in order for minimalism to enhance all aspects of my life, I needed to first get on top of my excess stuff. So for the first time in literally 10 years, I cleaned out my cupboard. I then got rid of all the clothes I didn't wear, which was 80% of my wardrobe. Minimizing my room was like cleaning my mind. I felt refreshed, lighter and clear. It all took so long to do, and honestly, I never want to go through that process again, so that in itself was motivation enough to decrease my spending habits. For the past four years, I've only bought clothes or items that I need, or things that I absolutely love. This has kept my closet nice and small, but every day I'm really excited by what I get to put on my body. And because of this, I am the most comfortable with my money that I've ever been in my life. This isn't to say that I'm financially free, because I'm actually far from that but money is no longer a daily or weekly stress. And by purchasing less generally, I have more money to spend on those few things that really do add value to my life. One of the changes that I didn't really expect to happen was that I now take much better care of my belongings. I'm no longer in this mindset of, I can just get a new one if it breaks. I value and take care of the few possessions I do have and they tend to last for a lot longer. And this value and care spreads further than just my possessions. I now really value my time and how I spend it. I choose what I want to do and who I want to spend it with. I no longer feel the need to buy stuff to be happy or fulfilled. I am filling my life with the value of connection and relationships instead. And this is the beauty of living a minimal lifestyle. You don't need anything material to live the life you want to. You create your own reality. You aren't defined by your possessions. And because of this, I am so much happier. I no longer get jealous or compare myself to others. Every year a new iPhone comes out and I don't feel the need to buy one. When I walk into my room, I'm not welcomed with an overflow of stuff. It's a peaceful and happy space. And the best thing, minimalism looks different for everyone and can work for anyone. It doesn't mean having the least amount of stuff possible. It means only having the things that add true value to your life. You can be a book lover with a giant book collection and still live a minimal lifestyle. So that wraps this video up. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you resonated with this video and if you're looking for a change in your life, maybe this is for you. I upload new videos every Thursday and I really can't wait to see you on the next one. Bye.